In the news tonight, Princess Street residents blocked the road in protest over extension of cemetery into old dump site area. We don't want um to be don't want garbage um to bury a site here anymore. We want and Cohen Jackson freed of rape charges. Some residents of Princess Street Lodge today blocked the road in protest over the extension of the Lerpentier Cemetery into the dump site. According to the residents, several letters were dispatched to the authorities to look into the issue, but to no avail. We sent um, several letters to EPA, letters were sent to local government, the letter was sent to the mayor. Nobody came. We went to see the mayor like two or three weeks ago. He was at a meeting. We sat there from Minister 1 till Minister 4. He never came. He never replied. He never tried to make contact. He never did anything. And we're here this morning to let them know that we are serious and we have had enough. When the garbage dump was over there, when they had just started, we endured years of slush, mud and all these things. We had to block this road to get them to go somewhere else. And we have to go through this again. Princess Street people are prepared for this. We want to live in peace and tranquility. We don't want um, to be don't want garbage. Um, they bury a site here anymore. We want them to remove. Currently, more tombs are being built and residents want it to stop. This is a dump site. This is not a burial site. And we have asked them after we've seen them coming down, how far are they taking this burial? They said they're going up to South Ali. South Ali is here. And we have seen them still coming down. We told them, we said, this is a dump site. This is not a burial site. They're digging up the garbage. When it rains, it stinks. The garbage smells. There's biogas that erupts there. Fire takes place there. Fire service have to come time and time again and out the fire over there. We have children that live around here. When they have burial, the people come, they bury the dead. As they leave, they leave all the garbage at the end of the road. The garbage, you're trying to get to your premises, you cannot go in. The road is blocked, you have to drive all the way around. People defecate in your yard, they urinate in the yard, and several other things that they do. You understand? Look, two weeks ago, the police came, sling up guns all over, trying to catch them to one gun salute, they're trying to give whoever. You understand? But the police disguised in all form, and they couldn't do that. We don't want that to Princess Street. Anybody could snatch anything from you and run through this alley. We, don't, we want them to cease operation here. We don't want them to continue. We want them to cease operation. This is a dump site and not a burial site. Very happy all the time. But right now the health situation with this burial ground here is affecting me. Now let us look at it. This dump here closed off for a number of years, but yet the garbage is not rotten. All those cars and all these things from the hospital with these different sick cases. It's still there, they're not rotten. That is dangerous or health. So I'm dealing with the health part. And we cannot have them feces in our yard. Urinating in our yard. That is unfair to us. The residents vow to continue the action until their voices are heard. Guyana, right into the future with the next generation eco-friendly Axiom installed elevators and escalators. Call us today on telephone number 619-0899 or 6048-0934. Email us at axiomliftsgy at gmail.com for affordable elevators, escalators, moving walks, industrial lifts, home solutions, modernization, repair, and servicing. Axiom Elevator Services, technology for people on the move. Running late and can't wait to the gate? We got you. 
The Guiana Public Service Cooperative Credit Union Limited has introduced a fast and easier way to make payments to your accounts through the GT&T mobile money services. Here's how. Click on the MMG app. Under Services, select Pay Bills. When you are there, look for the Financial Institution option. Once that is done, select Guyana Public Service Cooperative Credit Union Limited to pay your loan or make payments to your savings. Payments to the credit union made easier. GPS CCU, the credit union you can bank on. School teacher Cohen Jackson was today acquitted of all the rape charges after the jury was directed by the judge to return a not guilty verdict. This was after the complainant informed the court that she was withdrawing the allegations and was no longer pursuing them. In a press statement issued by the law firm, Use Feelings Toby noted that the remaining criminal charges of sexual activity with a child of the age of 16 by abusing a position of trust contrary to the provisions of the Sexual Offenses Act were dismissed when the jury was directed by Justice Priya Bihari Sinorain to return a not guilty verdict on the remaining three charges. Last year, Jackson was acquitted by a jury of one charge of sexual activity with a child of the age of 16 years by abusing a position of trust at the conclusion of the trial. According to the press statement, Jackson expressed his heartfelt appreciation and gratitude to those members of staff and students of the Bishop's High School and the Education Ministry and members of the public who stood by him. Jackson had always maintained his innocence of the charges filed against him and is relieved that his position has been vindicated. The charges were filed following an allegation made against him on social media. Jackson was early awarded $5 million in damages following a lawsuit he filed against Royal Johnson for defamation of character. Guyana, ride into the future with the next generation eco-friendly Axiom installed elevators and escalators. Call us today on telephone number 619-0899 or 6480934. Email us at axiomliftsgy at gmail.com for affordable elevators, escalators, moving walks, industrial lifts, home solutions, modernization, repair, and servicing. Axiom Elevator Services, technology for people on the move. Washi. Hi, people. Washing made so easy since I found Washi. Washing me use, wash me clothes and I can say Wash your soap powder, wash clothes so nice Wash your soap powder, leave your clothes color bright Wash your soap powder, leave me clothes smelling nice, of course So give thanks to wash your soap powder For doing my laundry in right Keep my clothes color bright Have my clothes smelling nice for sure I could not ask for more Comes in lemon and original it is a washing machine in a pack. Wash your soap powder, wash clothes so nice. Wash your soap powder, leave your clothes color bright. Wash your soap powder, have my clothes smelling nice, of course. Distributors located in the Starbrook market. The People's National Congress Reform calls the terrorism charges instituted by the state against 10 East Coast residents wicked and must be dropped. In a statement today, the party said, they utterly reject the government's use of anti-terrorism provision in the Criminal Law Offenses Act to bring charges against citizens of the country. According to the PNCR, the PP's motive is clear to intimidate and scare citizens from exercising their constitutional freedoms of association and peaceful demonstration. Such intimidation of citizens is state terrorism in itself, the party said. Further, the party posited that to deal with crimes, the proper course of action is for the police to be depoliticized 
and professionalized and well equipped. Vice President Barack Jagdeo said his party will always support peaceful protests. In any democracy, in any democracy, you have to be tolerant of protests. You have to guarantee people's right to express themselves openly, even in opposition to the government. Now, clearly, the people of Golden Grove, they had cause for concern because I am personally horrified about what happened to that young man there. I, it, is, it is unacceptable what happened to him. So clearly the people had cause to express concern. But expression of concern has to be done peacefully. You can't, they could have protested peacefully. But when these elements join the protest and they engage in terrorism and terroristic activities in relation to other people, destroying their livelihoods, beating them up, then the state has to intervene and come down with the full force of the law on those individuals. Not peaceful protesters. There were many peaceful protesters. So those people will never, if the signal is clear to them, they will never again, the, the troublemakers and the protest, those who are extreme in nature, they will understand that that behavior would not be tolerant in a democracy. So that is our, uh, they, these people must face the law. You have a right to protest, but you don't have a right to destroy and to harm other people. The anti-terrorism section of the criminal law was introduced as an amendment in 2002 by Ronald Gadraj, the then Minister of Home Affairs. For these and other stories, do visit us at our website www.rdproductiongy.com.